Good evening, everybody. It's Monday night, and it's time to chalk. I actually have a computer here next to me, so I'm getting everything set up so I can see what's going on. And there I am. I can actually pin this to the top of my page while everybody's getting on. Tonight we are going to go a little patriotic and we're going to chalk some wooden cutouts. The stars that Chalk Couture has are really great and um, they're wood cutouts. So we have three of them. Here's the smaller one here. This is our largest star. And then there's like medium. So we're going to chalk these using their transfer. Kind of nice and traditional. You can do a lot of different things with these stars. I've seen people actually take these and drill holes in them and make them into stands. Like a cupcake stand, you put your cupcakes on it. Or little trinkets for the 4th of July. Really cool stuff. So it's definitely something to think about when you're looking at these amazing cutouts, right? So you can do so many things. So many things with these. I love the cutouts. They're my favorite. Honestly, I love to do the cutouts. Um, and I'm actually, while I'm talking to you, I am sharing to my VIP group. So if you're a VIP, it's gonna pop up again for you. Sorry about that. Just trying to make sure everybody can see. And then there we go. And then that way I can actually click here and see your chats to the side. So, yay! Um, I'm actually in a new setup. I don't know if you can see that. Lights, flashy lights, what? Um, the other thing is, is I have the computer and I'm starting to actually upgrade. So you're gonna see my look change just a little bit as I upgrade some technology so you can see better. Yay, awesome. Okay, so before we get started on a project, quick shameless plug, June 21st is a virtual workshop for Alzheimer's disease. It here is, it's official guys. When I have the t-shirt, it's official. So there is the shirt for the fundraiser that we've been signed up for. I have 40 seats for $39.99 and our project is um, actually we're going to be talking some beautiful little block pieces with metal to hold pictures on um, and it's really really neat. So if you want to be a part of that in order to get your supplies on time, ensure them on time, please go ahead and uh, you know, I actually, I can show the link on my screen right now. There it is. Um, so what you're seeing there, if you could click on open the link, you can actually sign up for that uh, workshop for $39.99 and I will have everything ordered starting Friday. So, and I'll put that in the comments later as well. All right, so let's get started on our project. Move my keyboard. I know I'm getting fancy. I'm going to move my keyboard and I'm going to tilt you down. One of the advances of technology that's coming up is uh, I'm not going to have to tilt because there ought to be a camera position and I can click over to it. That would be cool. So let's see here. Whoop. There we go. So here are our wonderful stars. And I've taken the liberty of cutting this stars and stripes transfer already. I've used it one time for another project during Christmas. Um, this transfer is actually from last year. So there's so many different designs we can use on our stars and stripes, even words and everything. But I'm going to start off with our lovely little, little, little guy here. Find my fuzzy cloth. And I'm going to pick some colors. Now I'm thinking I want to lean more into my blues. So I've got quite a few blues here. Of course we have a white surface, so we don't need white. And we have candy apple red. So I'm thinking I really love the candy apple red with this beautiful colonial blue. So I'm going to stick to that for our stars. And while I get started, I want to make sure that I know that some of these are brand new. So I want to make sure that they're open. I had actually replaced a couple of pastes that were run out or just I didn't have the color. So I wanted to make sure to get a couple of new colors just in time for 4th of July. Okay, that's perfect. And of course, I always go for my Lysol wipes. Um, you can, some designers use baby wipes, but let me word a caution with the baby wipes. If you use them on the back of your transfers, there is a moisturizer in those, and they can actually, um, sometimes you're, your uh, adhesive can stop 
being as nice and sticky a little bit sooner. So we want to be careful with that. Also, if you have to have water to your paste, make sure it's distilled and not from the tap. Apparently, it can give you mold. And yes, we bathe and cook with that. I find that disturbing too. All right, so this is a brand new candy apple red as well. Nice bright red, perfect. Just what we need for the stars and stripes, right? So I think what we're gonna do, go ahead and grab me a squeegee here, probably two. I think I'll get two squeegees, two different colors, two squeegees, why not? Move my colors over. And I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna take my finger and rub it against the edge of my transfer just so I can grab that plastic. Little sticker part, there we go. And pull that off. I'll put my backer sheet to the side. You can hear the stickiness on it. So we're gonna have to fuzz. And the reason we fuzz is so that we get a little bit of the fuzzy on the sticky side. And that way this will come off. Our chalk paste will go through the screen and we won't have this weird green sticker on our star when we could have just bought a sticker if we wanted one. All right, let's line our star up. Line this up really cute. And these are kind of tough sometimes because they're a bunch of screen and sometimes you can get these air bubbles in them. So you have to kind of really look really good make sure they're all the way down. And I find the other thing with these, when they have a lot of screen, the best thing to do is to actually work from the middle out like this when you're chalking. So that can usually smooth out if you have any air bubbles, like I see right there. That can actually help. Okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna use some of this colonial blue, grab some in a beautiful rich color. And I'm gonna just, we're gonna go with colonial blue on this. I think that'll be pretty. You know, I could have mixed it up, changed things around. Maybe, maybe I'll do a messy technique on one of the other stars, but I think I like this better, a little more traditional looking. I mean, Got a little while till the 4th of July, but why not get started right now? Make things look nice and patriotic. Okay. Put my lid on there. I hope everybody's had a great weekend. I've heard a lot of people have been sick in our area. That's not good. Hope everybody's getting better. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. That's a pretty star. I'm just gonna put my transfer on my backer sheet so I can wash that later with my um, tr um, my board eraser, which is basically like a magic eraser. I'm gonna turn this up. You know, this is old fashioned hair dryer, nothing fancy. It's almost completely dry. Thank you, baby. So I'm gonna show you another trick with this. Now, I can, if I keep the same color, I can actually, if, as long as the shaping is similar, you know, unlike the uh, like bunny rabbits and deer where their necks are different, I can actually come back to the back of this if I want to. Line that up. It's a little off, so. here. There we go. Okay, so the top's lined up. I'm gonna fix that part. So I can make it double-sided. Same color. Now if I was wanted to change the color, I'd just have to wash the transfer. 
just let dry it off and do it one more time. But I'm doing the same color. So it is double sided. Now there is a great trick that some designers use that I'm probably going to try on something else where you modge podge the edges of these wooden um, cutouts because they're so thick with a pretty paper or um, either a tissue paper or a watercolor paper or something, maybe a thin paper, paper towel you like that you pull the plies apart, which is usually what my go-to is, just on the edges and sand it. I thought that was really interesting, um, but that's something we'll do in the future. I'm thinking about doing that on mason jar. I think that would be really cool. All right. So we've gotten two uses out of that transfer and it hasn't even been washed yet. Let's see how it looks. There we go. Back on the backer sheet it goes. Now let's dry this one. So not too bad, double-sided. is done it's now time to move on to the next one so I think I'm gonna go up a size let's go with our medium star and find the transfer that I want want to do so badly I love these font transfers I think they're really fun that kind of run off the edges of things and I think this one needs to be definitely a red like it should be red for real so Let's go ahead and take our finger. I'm going to rub it on the edge of our transfer. Oh, this one's bubbled up a little bit so I can grab it. That way it sticks to my finger. I can pull the backer sheet off. There we go. That's very sticky. So I definitely need to fuzz that. Just want a little bit of stick. I don't want it to where it's going to permanently stay down on my star. Sounds pretty good, a little bit of fuzz. So let's go ahead and line that up. It's really cool to have the computer here where I can see your comments, that's really neat. See, I'm upgrading, slowly but surely. All right, this looks so good. I think it's gonna be really nice. So patriotic and fun. Now you could paint these so you could do the white. So maybe you paint one red or one blue or I could paint it with the chalk paste actually if I wanted to. And you could use white. I would definitely go for the shimmer for this one, the shimmer frost, if you do a paint job. I think that's definitely what should happen. Whoops. Now that can happen where you kind of go off the edges with these shapes. You know, that happens to me all the time. All the time. Kind of a little extra messy, but it's worth it. And it cleans up so easily. Absolutely. The patriotic stuff is so nice. And it's not just now, if you're watching me from Canada, there is some great Canadian stuff as well on my chalk site, the link on your screen. Um, you should be able to see that, it's really nice. I, I love um, a lot of the, oh, there's one that's like Canada, eh? I think it was really cute. Just adorable. And they have the maple leaf symbol and everything, you know, very patriotic. It's been a big, big week for Canada as part of the Commonwealth of Nations. Since this is in the Queen's Jubilee, so hey, why not? Check that out. Now this one I'm not gonna double side. 
I just wanted to show you that we could do that. So let's dry this. Isn't that amazing? I mean, how freaking cute. So isn't that so cute? So now we have these two. So now we've got to do our bigger star and finalize our little trio here. And it has to be this transfer. It just has to be. So I'm going to move my transfers. I need to wash to the side. So I can make some room here. So this one's a little bit bigger. Take my finger, I'm gonna rub it on the edge of the transfer so I can grab it, pull the backer sheet off, and you can hear that sticky. So we're going to definitely have to fuzz this bad boy at least twice. That way I can make sure that it comes up off of my star. So I lose this all fireworks and Everything, little sparklies, it's so cute. I think this is a great design to do our messy technique with. So let's give it a whirl. And you're like, what is a messy technique? Well, the messy technique is where you blend several colors together, just almost like finger painting, to combine, so you can find more than two colors, but to give yourself an awesome splash of color. Of course, it does waste chalk paste because you can't put it back in the jars, what you're, um, you know, what you don't use. But it's worth it for the effect. So I'm gonna take my jars here. And then, you know, I've got my pans are already covered, so that's fine. And I'm gonna put my finger into this colonial blue and I'm just gonna splotch on some blue, just, Give it random all over the place here. So I wanna make sure that we got plenty of color. Maybe some down here, a little bit up here, a little more right there. It's under my fingernail, <laughs> that's okay. All right, good rule of thumb. Even if you clean off that finger for a messy technique, use a different one for the next color. Or you'll mix your colors up with I have. All right, so let's go for our red. Candy apple red. And I'm trying to kind of fill in all the extra places. Now when I use my squeegee, it's gonna spread it out. But I wanna make sure I have plenty of paste there to be able to spread out and get the color going. There we go. Maybe a little more right here. And there. And right there. All right. That's gonna be really cute. All right, I'm just getting the chalk paste out from under my finger now. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna put my lid on and grab my squeegee. I'm gonna grab a medium squeegee for this one. It's a little bit wider. Since we have a bigger surface to mix up, I'm gonna take our squeegee. We're just gonna grab from the top and just kinda wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Make sure we get everything covered. So you'll see peaks of white through the screen. If it doesn't have paste in it, you can go back over it. See, there's a little piece right there. We went right back over that. And the end of 
almost there we go how awesome is that so I'm just putting it in my white and I'm actually going to get as much of the excess off as I can just kind of cleaning that off I don't want to get splashing everywhere Gosh, there's so much red on my hands, looks like I'm bleeding. Okay, here we go. Check that out. Isn't that neat? Whoops. And I dropped the backer sheet. That's okay, I caught it with the sticky part. How neat is that? I love the mixture of colors. Whoops. And I just unplugged my light, so you may not be able to see the color. There we go. Let's turn that back on. There we go. My flashy lights behind me are all flashy. So let's see if I can find and put that on normal. So nobody has a seizure. There we go. Okay, so check out. Look at that. Isn't that neat? So let's go ahead and dry it and we'll put them together. Okay, so there's number one that we just finished, number two, and number three. We double-sided that one, so I'm going to bring you down. Come down with me, and let's see how it turns out. So maybe we just kind of prop them this way. I don't know, I think I need to move my fuzzy cloth out of the way here. You can kind of get in the way sometimes. So, let's see if I can, whoops. There we go. A star and another star. Check it out. All three of these in the same package. Oh, hey Debbie, thanks mom, hey Fina. I love these too. Actually, let me go down and see. I'm getting used to the comment things, guys, on the screen, sorry. All right, so all done. I used my transfer, I used my star cutouts, and you know what, guys, I've had this transfer since Christmas. I used it again in the Christmas time. I had this awesome cutout that I used during Christmas, and it also has like stripes. So you can do different things year round with this particular transfer. It's an E-size transfer. Um, but I love the stars, and you know it's the 4th of July, so you have to check the link on your screen to get those before they sell out. So, obviously they sit up on their own. They're nice and thick. Super thick, so you can even do stuff on the edges and do the backs. And they're a lot of fun. I love doing them. Um, I'm getting used to this part, too. Well, coming up soon, June 21st, workshop. In the event, sign up for that by the end of the week so I can get your supplies so that we can work together on the longest day, which is the longest day the sun's out, to give the most light for, Alzheimer's, for the Alzheimer's Association. So it's $39.99. Anything above your supplies for your, your, when you purchase your seat, excuse me, when you purchase your seat, anything above your supplies goes to the Alzheimer's Association. So we're going to be talking together. I have up to 40 seats. So I need you guys to go ahead and RSVP ASAP, please, 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 so I can get those orders in and make sure everybody's got what they need. So June 21st is the big day. So I recommend we get those in by Friday if we can. Well, I had fun. These are going to be great. They're going to look really good with the wall back there um, until I go to Juneteenth, which they will be sitting on my table for display. Um, so I had a great time you guys. You'll probably see more projects out of me this week um, in video form 
and if you signed up for the other workshop join me Thursday night we'll go ahead that's been rescheduled and we'll finish up the project for that one that'll be the first VIP virtual workshop and um, and I do believe tomorrow night if you're a VIP I have a paint workshop for you tomorrow yes I do I'm gonna show you how to paint bubbles um, in an easy easy way so super easy and you could actually do this with the kids too so you won't believe how easy it's gonna be I had a good time making these they're awesome I love them and I hope you did too enjoy the rest of your week if you're a VIP I'll catch you tomorrow night to show you that uh, painting trick see ya